Horse Men of America. You know, I'm real anxious to meet him. You say he's a real nice guy, huh? And very sharp. He's right with it. We showed him all around the base, and he asked all the right questions. He's up on all the latest developments in planes and equipment. Speaks English and everything. Oh, sure, he was educated in England. His wife doesn't speak much. She's uh, very young and pretty, like a child. I've got a present for her. She was fascinated by these, so I figured I could part with them. Ali Brahman, prophet and ruler of 18 million souls. <laughs> Boy, I'll bet he's got problems. not looking in your direction. Yes, we can see you. <laughs> he thinks this room will be perfect. One moment, Dino. He's going to look over the situation with his lens. Tell him to move around a little. Uh, you should move around a bit. How is this? Good? Of course, the chances are he will not come out here on the balcony. I will go a little inside. This is where the buffet table will be. If you will tell me exactly where you would like it, I can place it there for you. He is an inch or two taller than I. Will you calculate accordingly? He is taller than Dino, huh? Oh, that won't bother me. That's all right. Okay, I'm all set. Everything is, is satisfactory here. Is there anything else? Until five o'clock, then. Be careful, eh? I'm very nervous. I don't do this sort of thing every day, you know? around here I can get a bite to eat. Yes, there, there is a restaurant. Uh, but this is the room. This is it. <clears throat> Front desk, Mr. Fassbender speaking. May I be of service? Oh, yeah, Mr. Mazardis, where you been? We had a couple of calls for you, and we got a wire from a lady. Miss Molly McIntyre requests room and bath arriving 3.30, which is now any minute. Yes, it is not important. You will take care of it. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm, I'm going to my room to rest. Thank you very much. Look, the important thing is that this room is taken. 313. You got it? Well, write it down. 313. Yeah, I got it. 313. Okay. Yeah, right. What name? 
Name? Uh, well, uh, name. Smith. Harry L. Smith. Mr. Smith. Uh, H. Leslie Smith. Mr. Smith, now he will be down in a minute to register. Now, uh, 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 he's going out. Uh, would you be good enough to uh, instruct him how to find a restaurant? Yeah, sure. Glad to. Mr. Smith, huh? Uh, what time is it? Time is now exactly 3.30. Right. And when this McIntyre lady arrives, Right. In the old room. Okay. I hope you feel better, Mr. Bizardis. I'll hold the fort. Bye. She says, you know, your life has been an empty mockery since the last time we were together. Yes, it's true. Which was uh, the summer of... Oh, night. don't say it. Has it been that long? I'm afraid so. Oh, what a terrible waste of manpower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you never got married. Me married? What do you think I am, a coward? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he isn't an airman. We'd both be in big trouble. Oh. <laughs> Innkeeper. Innkeeper! This bell dame is in the pay of a foreign power. Do you have a suitable room? Come again? <laughs> I've wired for reservations. Molly McIntyre. McIntyre. Oh, yeah, sure. I got it right here, someplace. A palpable forgery. I know of no city named Los Angeles. <laughs> now, here you go. Thank you. Ah, I see that you have an H. Leslie Smith in room 330. Is that a very short woman about so high? No, sir. It's a man. He just went out for lunch. <laughs> is, um, is that my room, 313? Um, uh, yeah, that'll be okay. I'm sorry I can't take you up, but I'm here all alone. It's, uh, the corner room, right up here. Two flights up and turn left top of the stairs. That's fine. We'll find it. You don't happen, I hope, to uh, have a proper escort for this here shindig now, do you, ma'am? Area one. Well, Major Willis, the United States Air Force requesting that honor, ma'am. I ought to know better, but I'll risk it. <laughs> Here you are, 313. Oh. I'd carry you across the threshold, but uh, people might talk. <laughs> oh, well, now. Gay, isn't it? Yes, sir. Just the place for a naughty midnight supper. Just us two by candlelight. Did you bring a slipper that I can drink champagne on? It? Oh, well, I don't have any time for your nonsense. <laughs> Where is the hotel where they're having the reception? Is it far? No, it's a big Thunder Hotel. You can see it from here. That's where His Majesty and retinue will be imbibing martinis with the cream of Big Thunder Society, which is us. Or say, is he a Mohammedan and not allowed to drink liquor? Oh, Willie, you haven't been reading my column about the Ali Brahma. He's not a Mohammedan, he's a sandal. Some of the Vedic and pre-Vedic theologies. He's modern. He's done away with a lot of the old customs. That's what makes him such a controversial figure. Some of the old fanatical believers in this country really have it in for him. I hate women that know everything. Oh, say, could I use your phone? Just a local call. You can take it out of my paycheck at the end of the month. Oh, be my guest. Thank you. Air Force Base, please. Oh, Willie, I'm going to take a shower and then um, jump into this ravishing creation. C crazy. <laughs> can you uh, can you come back for me in, oh, an hour and a half? Sure thing. Uh, Colonel Canyon, please. Colonel Stevenson B. Canyon. He's the CO. I'll bring him along with me. It's a big, handsome brute, but what do I care? Yes? Oh, hello, Willie. Where are you? Oh, 
What are you doing there? It's Major Williston. He ran into an old friend. <laughs> Ten bucks says it's a dame. No bet. Yeah, that sounds okay, Willie. We'll all go over together. Yes, yeah, Steve, I'll be there in a minute. Hmm? She's throwing me out. She's turned ugly. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, Steve. Yeah, I'll hang up and be right over to see you, sir. Yeah. Before I sustain bodily injury. Bye, Steve. Alone at last. <laughs> Come on. Out, 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 out. All right. Don't forget to come back. You better be ready when we get here. Well, you know, Chief Willie's one of those guys. Can't show up any place without an attractive wench in tow. <laughs> it's a disease. I used to have it. Well, maybe he'll get married, too. <laughs> well, this girl sounds interesting. Molly McIntyre. She's a newspaper woman. Came up from L.A. to cover our affair. Ought to be good publicity for Big Thunder. That is, if she's real. Real? What do you mean, Steve? Oh, Willie may have just made her up. He was that anxious to show me he could turn up a suitable female. <laughs> sad, sad. So then it turns out that this Ollie Brown is a qualified jet pilot. I know he is. I let him take over the controls for a bit. He's red hot. Yes, yeah, so I hear. Oh, would you please ring Miss McIntyre and see if she's ready to come down? Miss, uh, Miss McIntyre? Yeah, Miss Molly McIntyre. <laughs> well, what, uh, uh, what did you wish to see Miss McIntyre about? We want to put jelly beans down her back. Hmm? Now, would you hurry it up, please? We're a little late. Oh, it's room 313. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but we, it does not appear that we have a Miss McIntyre registered with us. Oh, sure you do. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> what room was that you said? Room 313. <laughs> but uh, we have no such room. There is no room 313. What do you mean, no such room? Oh, you're doing this. You tell me not to pull those April Fool's jokes, and you call her after well, Let's have a hearty laugh. No, oh, come on, on Steve. Center. It's on the level. I'll show you. There was a smith that registered in just ahead of her. Here, I'll show. We often have married couples named Smith, but no one by that name is with us at the moment. Ah, I have it. You have mistaken the hotel. It was another one. No, it was this hotel, room 313. But, but I tell you, sir, there is no room 313. This is crazy. I've read this all someplace. No, oh, sure you did. The whole thing is simple. Your girlfriend was in India. She got the bubonic plague. The hotel discovered it, so they went to all this trouble to cover it up because if it got around, it might hurt the Air Force recruiting drive. Uh, it is a joke. Where's the other fellow? <laughs> the kid, the assistant mm -hmm. manager that was here before. Assistant manager? <laughs> well, I wish I could afford such a luxury. <laughs> but I have no... No assistant manager. Willie, it's after No, five. no. I'm going to take a look at your third floor. Any objections? Willie. Come on, I'll show you. Come I get, get, get stuff. They're coming up. Yes. Right now. Come on, I'll show you. It's right around here. Oh, it's room 3... Th 314. Uh-huh. Now, now, look, Steve. I'll show you. In this room, there's, there's a bed on the left side, and straight across, there's, there's a bureau. And on the wall is a picture of this Arabian Nights dame wearing some veils and a big smile. And right out the window, you can see a view of the gold room of the Big Thunder Hotel. Okay, Steve? After this, we go. After this, we go. Hello. Was there something? Oh, excuse me, sir. You didn't happen to see a girl that... Uh, she occupied this room a couple hours ago? A girl? Me? Occupy this room? Must be some mix-up. I've been here pretty nearly four weeks now. Uh, my name is Horace de Vilbis. Well, uh, yeah, well, c could we just take a look, uh, look inside just for a minute? Look in here? Well, the uh, place is pretty much of a mess. Bathroom's a mess. I'm just about to take a shower. Well, just two steps in and then, and please, sir. Well, I guess there's no harm. Is uh, that the Arabian Nights painting you were talking about? You ready to go now? You boys uh, lose something? Yeah, his mind. Sorry to bother you. Please. 
Are you sure it is necessary to kill her, too? I'm a wanted man, fella. I can't have her walking around shooting her mouth off after this is over. And if they catch me, well, like the saying goes, they can only hang you once. So bad, was it? Oh, Should you be really interested, Chief Hagedorn? There is an excellent book which is about to be published in a few months. Well, I didn't want to profess my ignorance, Your Highness. Oh, no, 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 no. Not ignorance at all. Very little uh, is known about Bromistan to the Western world. We have, uh, and I think I may be permitted to say this about my own people, uh, we have been somewhat retarded in our cultural relations with other countries. Ah, Colonel Canyon. And Major... Uh... Oh, Williston. Uh, yes. It's oh. nice to see you again, Your Highness. Uh, Your Highness. Thank you. I was just saying to Chief Hagedorn that uh, there is a new book, uh, the first in English, by the way, which is about to be published on uh, Brahmistan. It was written by a young woman who was doing a series of articles on us uh, in a Los Angeles newspaper. Uh, Molly McIntyre? Well, yes. You know her? Yes, I know her. If you'll excuse me, I have a small present for your wife. Oh, yes. Well, it was a regular humdinger we'll fight, Your Highness. A regular humdinger. Oh, what means a humdinger? Oh. Hello, Your Highness. Ah, oh, hello. I have a present. Uh, these are for you. Oh, mine? Yes. Thank you. Oh, here, Your Highness. How does it see? It doesn't see right? Oh, excuse me, I'll focus them for you. What means a uh, focus? Try one of these, Your Highness. They are excellent. Oh, thank you. Are you not from Stowney? No, Your Highness. Oh. Forth, get out of the way. Steve, you gotta listen to me. You don't believe me? Do you believe him, Ali Brahma? He heard from Molly McIntyre. He got a wire from her saying she was coming here to Big Thunder to meet him at this reception. Yeah, yeah, sure, lover boy. Here, give me these. I'll show you. I was up there on the third floor right across from the square. Steve, you always so tell the third floor up. Corner room, take a look. Now, look, Willie, I'm getting a little floor. tired of this. I may have to take it all back. You see what I see? Now, don't do anything spectacular. Just act calm. What do we do? Get Haggard on. Whichever his men is the best rifle shot. Have him take over a room upstairs. Directly up ahead. I'll be there in a minute. I got you. Uh, Chief, could I have a word with you, please? Uh, your hands. Oh, Lieutenant Rogers. Would you excuse us for a moment, Your Highness? Pardon me. This is uh, very important, Rogers. I want you to see to it that His Highness doesn't get in the line of the open doors. Either he or his wife get close to the buffet, get between them and the doors. Keep them entertained, keep talking, stay relaxed. You know, put on an act. Think you can handle it? Well, sir, if I do say it, I am seldom at a loss for words. Good. The Colonel. They're going up. I'm going over to the Oasis. A little rear guard action is indicated. You better take a couple of policemen with you. I've already taken care of that. Oh, my diet is being shattered. I have eaten far too many of these. Lieutenant. Your Highness. Try some of these, Your Highness. Oh, thank you. Uh... 
got a room all set up, Steve. Come on. But in this case, then, Your Highness, you're denying one of the prime tenets of pre-Vedic animism. Now, sir, you and your missus here, well, you're basically Santal in belief. You're quoted as professing to modified Santalism. Well, this brings us back to animism, doesn't it? The true Santal still believes that if he takes a false oath on a piece of tiger skin, he'll be devoured by a tiger. Oh, incidentally, Your Highness, I, I do think it was remiss of the chef not to have provided your national dish here on this occasion. Well, I am not sorry. Do you know what our national dish is? Oh, not exactly, Your Highness. Stewed goat. Oh. Clear out. Uh, tell me, please, where did you acquire this vast fund of information? Oh, sir, my mother gave me the complete encyclopedia for Christmas. All 24 volumes. Last night, knowing that I might make your acquaintance, Your Highness, I boned up. What means it, boned up? Really. There it is again. See without the glasses, eh? I can't see him, but I see the gun barrel. I'm aiming just an inch above it. Any sign of my men and Willie? Not yet. Wait, there they are. They're going into the hotel. Lucky shot. Molly! <coughs> Molly! <coughs> Molly! <coughs> Molly! <coughs> honey, baby, what have they done to you? Here. I'll get it. Just a minute, honey. It's all right. Come. It's all right, baby. Take it easy. It's all right. Come. Your Highness, how can we possibly apply the Sanskrit formula in such a case as that? All the Vedic, pre-Vedic, Brahmanistic and Santalian principles will be flouted if one were to for one moment consider such an all-over alteration in the preconceived Rogers. system. Your Highness, if you'll give me your complete attention for just a tiny little moment more, I feel sure I can Rogers. convince you... Rogers! Rogers, you can turn it off now. Oh. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Are there any questions, Your Highness?
canyon a salute to the air force men of america